a French Cameroonian writer Charles Onan is due to go on trial in Paris, accused of complicity in contesting the 1994 Rwanda genocide. About 800,000 Tutsis and moderate Hutus were killed within 100 days. In a book published five years ago, Mr. Onan described the idea that the Hutu government had planned a genocide in Rwanda as one of the biggest scams of the latest century, which what he did was very bad because it doesn't all go well. A lot of people lost their lives. People lose a, an entire family, an entire, entire generation were lost in some families. So it is not good for him to utter such statements. But he's on one side he's going to court because he's been accused of his accomplicity. But on the other side, under the government of Jacques Chirac in France during this genocide, nobody from that government has been accused or has been charged to court, has been invited to ICC. So what does he tell you? Sometimes it looks as if these foreign institutions, they are just there to bring Africans to dear or African leaders who are not ready to do their bid. Yes, because we have not seen anybody when it comes to this Rwanda issue under that government or, or from France being accused or being charged to court or being invited for investigation of any sort. So we Africans, we have to be learning from things like this too. His lawyer, Emmanuel Perret, insists that Mr. Onan does not question that genocide took place or that Tutis were particularly targeted. Mr. Pierre told the AFP News Agency that the book in question was the book of a political scientist based on 10 years of research to understand the mechanism of the genocide before, during, and after. Mr. Onan, now 60, and his publishing director, at editions due to Khan we are sued four years ago over the same book that case was brought by the NGO survey and the International Federation for Human Rights for publicly contesting a crime against humanity Monday's trial is only the second case of denying the Rwanda genocide to come to trial in France under French law, it is an offense to deny or minimize the fact of any genocide that is officially recognized by France. So France recognized that genocide. But from the government, from the, the government in France then, nobody from that government has been questioned, has been accused, has been charged. But France recognized that genocide. Is that not funny to we Africans? Mr. Onan's trial will be historic since there is not yet any case law, strictly speaking, related to Rwanda on questioning of Holocaust denier Camille Le Sevier, campaign manager for survival to the AFP. We will mainly base ourselves on case law related to the Holocaust. In 2021, French President Emmanuel Macron asked Rwanda to forgive France for its role in the Rwanda genocide. So, the French government under their president asked for forgiveness on Fra uh, concerning France's participation in that genocide. But nobody from that government that was in power during this genocide has been held accountable for the role they played. He said France had not heeded warnings of impending carnage and had for too long valued silence over examination of the truth, but said his country had not been an accomplice in the killings. So he said his country has been silent on this, but they have not been an accomplice. Yes, so I think it to only be fair enough if international community does, if they will, we carry out investigations to see if France is not accomplice to what happened in Rwanda. If not for anything, to give justice to people that lost an entire generation or family members concerning what happened in Rwanda. Because that is the worst thing that happened to mankind and that happened to the people of Rwanda in the history of humanity.